The human mind is an amazing and complex thing. It can conjure up incredible dreams and also create unusual psychological conditions that can leave us bewildered. Disorders such as anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, and bipolar disorder are relatively well understood. However, some conditions are so rare that mental health professionals may never encounter them. Join me as we explore 10 fascinating psychological conditions, most of which I'm betting you've never heard of. The wind is your friend if you're sailing across the ocean, or trying to cool down on a hot summer day. But for some, an innocent breeze can lead to a panic attack. Kial Kap, also known as wind attacks, is a condition found predominantly in Cambodia. People with this syndrome believe that Kial, a wind-like substance, has entered their body, causing various unpleasant physical and psychological symptoms. They might experience headaches, dizziness, palpitations, shortness of breath, and fatigue. This belief in the power of wind can affect their daily lives and cause significant distress. According to a study in Culture, Medicine, and Psychiatry, these wind attacks are often reported by Cambodian refugees with post-traumatic stress disorder. That's what I should have said. I hope they like me. What if something goes wrong? We've all experienced analysis paralysis or overthinking to some degree. In many cultures, thinking too much is considered to be generally harmful to the mind and body. For the Shona people of Zimbabwe, these pesky thoughts can become more than just an occasional nuisance. Kufungiziza, which means thinking too much in Zimbabwe, is a cultural syndrome characterized by excessive worry or rumination. It often occurs in response to stressful life events and is considered to be the cause of anxiety and depression. Those affected by Kufungiziza may experience physical symptoms such as headaches and dizziness. Sure, it would be pretty awesome to turn into a wolf for a night. But it looks way too painful. The mythical condition of lycanthropy, or transforming into wolves, goes as far back as 60 AD. Clinical lycanthropy, also known as species identity disorder, or species dysphoria, is a rare delusional disorder where individuals believe they can transform into a wide variety of animals. A neuroimaging study of two individuals diagnosed with clinical lycanthropy showed that the areas of the brain involved in representing body shape displayed unusual activity. This suggests that those who claim that their body was changing shape might actually be perceiving these awful sensations. Have you ever felt a bit disconnected? That strange floating head feeling? According to researchers, it is normal to feel this way briefly due to side effects of medication, recreational drugs, or some other physical or mental health conditions. However, persistent symptoms might qualify for a diagnosis of depersonalization, derealization disorder, a dissociative disorder that makes individuals feel disconnected from themselves or their surroundings. People with this condition may describe feeling like they're in a dream or watching themselves from outside their body a very distressing condition which can impact daily functioning. They may also question the reality of their surroundings which, along with their perception of time, appears distorted. You just can't let go of those 500 precious pickle jars? 
Is your entire floor space taken up by towering stacks of newspapers dating back to the 90s? If this sounds familiar, you may have a bit of a situation on your hands. Diogenes syndrome, also known as senile squalor syndrome, that sounds flattering, is characterized by extreme self-neglect, the hoarding of rubbish and seemingly random items, social withdrawal, and a lack of shame. This condition is found mainly in the elderly and is associated with progressive dementia. Sufferers often live in squalid conditions, refusing help or intervention. The syndrome is actually quite the misnomer, as it is named after the Greek philosopher Diogenes of Sinope. Diogenes rejected the desire for wealth, power, and fame, choosing to live free from all possessions. He found virtue in poverty, slept in a large ceramic jar, and was known to seek out social interactions. Being an art lover is one thing, but what if staring at the Mona Lisa left you feeling like you just took a ride on a roller coaster? Stendhal's syndrome is a psychosomatic disorder triggered by exposure to particularly beautiful or emotionally charged art, or large quantities of art that are concentrated in a single space, such as a museum or a gallery. Symptoms include rapid heartbeats, dizziness, and even hallucinations. Individuals may also experience similar reactions to beauty in nature. It's named after the 19th century French writer Stendhal, who famously described experiencing symptoms during a trip to Florence in 1817. Stendhal syndrome may also be called hyperculturemia or Florence syndrome. Apotemnophilia, also known as Body Integrity Identity Disorder, is a condition in which individuals have an overwhelming desire to amputate one or more of their healthy limbs. They often feel like a part of their body does not belong to them and seek surgical amputation to align their physical body with their perceived identity. The disorder is believed to be neurological, and sufferers have been known to amputate their own limbs or damage the limb so that surgical amputation becomes necessary. Researchers believe the condition could be caused by damage to the right parietal lobe in the brain. Cognitive behavioral therapy and aversion therapies are commonly used to treat this unusual psychological disorder. What if you woke up one day and felt like your hand belonged to somebody else? Alien hand syndrome is a rare neurological condition where one hand seems to have a will of its own, acting independently of the person's conscious control. It can lead to awkward and uncontrollable movements with individuals feeling as though their hand is alien or possessed. Despite reporting normal sensations in their alien hand, sufferers will go as far as to personifying the limb as a separate entity. This mind-boggling syndrome is thought to occur in individuals who have damage to the corpus callosum, the area connecting the two cerebral hemispheres of the brain. Other causes include stroke and damage to the parietal lobe, which result in intermanual conflict or idiomotor apraxia, meaning your hands are acting in opposition to one another. Capgras syndrome is a delusional disorder where individuals believe that someone they know, often a close family member, has been replaced by an imposter. They can recognize the person's physical appearance, but insist that they are not the same person they once knew. This condition can cause significant distress and disrupt relationships. This rather frightening syndrome is named after Joseph Capgras, a French psychiatrist who explored this illusion of doubles. 
Capgras syndrome can occur in individuals with schizophrenia, dementia, or epilepsy, and those who have suffered a traumatic brain injury. Who in the world am I? Ah, that's the great puzzle. Alice in Wonderland Syndrome is a perceptual disorder that distorts one's perception of their body and the surrounding environment. Individuals report perceiving objects as larger or smaller than they are, experience distortions in time, and even feel like their body parts are changing in size or shape. It's often associated with hallucinations, frequent migraines, brain tumors, or drug use, and can affect children between the ages of 5 and 10. If you found this video insightful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more captivating explorations into the human mind.